Oops, crap, wrong. Well, in a lot of cases, you don't need to do it. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Hey guys, welcome back to the old sawmill. I'm Robert Milton, uh, the owner of Hobby Hardwood, Alabama. So there's really two parts to drying lumber. One is what we talked about last week was the maximum allowable moisture removal rate, which is how fast the lumber can lose moisture before it cracks and defects and causes all kinds of problems. The other side of the equation is how fast will the atmosphere try to take the moisture out? That's called equilibrium moisture content. It's incredibly important whether you're air drying, whether you're kiln drying, whether you're a cabinet maker, whether you're, I mean, as in if you're buying wood from such and such and you're trying to bring it into a house, how long you need to acclimatize it. I mean, you always hear that if you buy wooden flooring, bring it into your house for two weeks so it can acclimatize. It's kind of, again, one of those golden rules, but it's also a myth. Nobody ever actually tells you why. You may not need to bring it in for two weeks. You, you may, may be able to use it as soon as you get it in the house. Again, it, it, that's kind of one of those myths. They never really tell you why you need to do it. They just say you need to do it. Well, in a lot of cases, you don't need to do it, especially if you get it directly from a lumber kiln. All that has to do with equilibrium moisture content, and we are going to talk about that right now. now. So, let's talk about it right now, because I got nothing else to do, it's raining. <laughs> so, so, equilibrium moisture content, or short for EMC, is the level where the wood is stable with its environment. It's not going to lose moisture, it's not going to gain moisture. And this feeds into what we hear all the time. People say, my lumber has been drying for years, decades, so it's got to be real dry. No, it's whatever the EMC of the local environment is. Outside, that's about 12 to 15%. That's all you're going to get. Temperature, relative humidity, or actually it's wet bulb and dry bulb determines and atmospheric pressure determines how much moisture the air can hold. And if you have wood that has higher moisture content than the EMC of the atmosphere, of course the atmosphere is going to try to dry that wood out. If you have an EMC of the air that's moister, has more moisture than the wood, then the wood is going to pull the moisture back in. Right? So that's where if you have dry wood, like 7%, and you put it outside in your garage or something, and the EMC outside of that outside air is like 12%, your 7% wood that you just bought from a lumber kiln operator, me, is going to try to come up in moisture value. That's not something you really want to have happen because your house is drier. You build the stuff, and the wood's moving as you build it, and you bring it in the house, and then it shrinks back down, it settles back down, and you're, oops, crap wrong. If you have wood that's wet, straight off the mill, you bring it in your house, or you don't air dry it properly, it's going to start to crack. So EMC goes both ways. You need to know the EMC of the area that you're working in, of your environment. It's kind of like the golden thing you should always have in the back of your mind, and then relate that to your maximum moisture removal rate to see if you're safe without cracking your wood, but also related always to your lumber projects to know if your wood's gonna go up in moisture, which causes it to expand and move, or go down in moisture, which causes it to shrink and crack. Ideally, what you wanna do is if you're building furniture or anything like that, you wanna go to a, say, a, a, a fixed EMC value in your shop right into your house, the EMC doesn't change, the wood is 100% stable. See, best. Uh, we've had situations where people buy our wood, it's at 7%. Their shop is under the wing of a barn. Can't, I mean, that's just what they got. The EMC, the equilibrium moisture content's really high, the wood it starts expanding, it starts picking up moisture, it basically it grows, anything that gets wet gets bigger, it expands. Almost everything. 
they build their furniture, it's tight, it's clean, they bring it into a house, say their house or a customer's house, and then that expanded wood shrinks back down and now their joints are open, the wood's moving, uh, it's just not a good deal. So EMC, it's, it's not a rap song by DMC, it's EMC. Yeah, that was a bad joke. All right, let's walk over here to one of my kilns. Damn, it's raining. It's the only reason I would walk out to my kiln in the rain is to make a video to help everybody out. Because this is stupid. All right, let's see what we got in here. There it is. And over here, I have a laminated page and it says EMC table. You have to know how important something is for me who has a pretty good memory and always says memorize things to have one of these printed out and placed in their kiln. It's that important. Let's look what the EMC value for today is. Hey Siri, what is the temperature and relative humidity that I'm at right now? The humidity is currently 92%. And the temperature? It's 66 degrees right now. I hope y'all got that. All right, let's see where we're at. Dang, thanks a lot, Siri, you're, you're wonderful. Relative humidity. This ambient air temperature, we are at uh, 66, so let's just call it right here. We're at 92%. Our equilibrium moisture content right now is a little over 20%. If a customer buys my wood, it's raining, so we're not real busy right now, so that lets me film. And they buy my wood at 7%, and they stack it, say, under their carport today, outside, garage. It's going to try to go from 7% to 20%, as fast as it can. That ain't good. This is one reason you never want to stack kiln dried wood outside because you do get days like this and it's really, really bad for the wood. Anyway, good example of how important EMC is. So I've got a lot of kiln dried lumber and the doors are open for the customers. The chip of course is enjoying the day. Trademark characteristic spot in that right chippy. He loves these rainy days and you may wonder How come we have all this wood That's kiln dried That's a lot of it 7% And you may be wondering How come I'm not worried about the moisture coming up in the building when I've got lumber at 7% and the EMC right now is at 20. And the answer is, I am worried. But I also use mechanical help. We run, de we run dehumidifiers to keep our wood dry. A few more hours, we'll shut the doors, we'll dry the building back out again. Everything will be good. So, you got to eat the power bill and you run dehumidifiers. So now you're asking, how do I know what the EMC of my building should be or your house for that matter? Pretty cool. Go back to the EMC chart. We set our dehumidifiers to about 40. Um, most will easily run to 40 and at 70 degrees, right? 70 degrees, 40% humidity we're at 7.7 percent so that's where we maintain the humidity in our building by the same token if you look at your house 70 degrees so depending on your house some people run really dry their hvac units so you're at 35 percent you're at 6.9 percent emc if you're at 50 percent you're at 9.2 and those two numbers, that range in there covers most people's houses. And that's why most people say that it would, wood will be properly kiln dried and usable in your house if it's around, if it's between seven and 9%. As a company, we like to 
kiln dried down to 7% simply because most people never run their houses lower than that. And I'm not going to sell a piece of wood that's never been in an environment that somebody's going to use it. So I know my wood will be well behaved. <laughs> it's not, I'm going to speak sternly to it. And the cool thing about it, if you check your cabinet, I always like to go to your cabinets, I like to go to a cabinet or a dresser or something that's going to stable room and you check the moisture on it. Guess what? It's going to be within a few percent of what the EMC chart says. If it's not, you trust this that one's wrong quick way to check your moisture meter and that's a tip from the old professor at hobby hardwood it's so important to know the maximum moisture removal rate of your wood part a and why it's so important to know the equilibrium moisture content of your environment part b part two what do you think chippy You like your ears get scratched, don't you? It ain't rocket science, but it is science. It's fun, and it will help you understand what your wood's doing. And we will see you all next week. Have a good one. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.